At the establishment of the Center for Excellence in Financial Inclusion in 2013 by the PNG government, there are about 1.3 million Papua New Guineans with bank accounts. According to Mr. Rana Singe, today there are about 3.4 million people or over a quarter of PNG's population who have bank accounts. But he says there is still a lot of work to be done in this area and there are issues of people not using their bank accounts which eventually go dormant. Bank South Pacific recently announced that dormant account restrictions have now been removed to allow customers ease of access to their accounts even though they are unused over long periods. So what really is financial inclusion? You know, a lot of people think uh, getting, uh, opening a bank account is financial inclusion. This is uh, totally a misnomer. Financial inclusion I would call as a journey, which will change the lives of the people. And at the end of the day, we'll have a better standard of living. Some of the latest initiatives developed by CEFI include launching a four-month contract to conduct PNG's first nationwide inclusive insurance awareness campaign with a local media company. The organization has also developed an SME loan product guide and a market for village farmers project. First is to have a savings account, build their savings, as well as having access to lending and things like that. So this is where we are trying to help people uh, to develop business proposals, uh, and get, uh, get, uh, get them uh, to know what is being offered. For your information, recently CEFI developed what we call a SME product, a product guide, which gives you an idea what are the lending products available. Mr. Rana Singe admitted that the COVID-19 pandemic has affected SMEs in the country, but is confident Papua New Guineans can be able to strive through the difficult times. Dr. Elizabeth Koppel from PNG's National Research Institute, who has conducted research on the COVID-19 pandemic impact on PNG's informal economy and has been in Australia due to international border restrictions, spoke to MTV recently via Skype from Toowoomba in Queensland. COVID-19 pandemic has obviously affected the PNG economy in, in many ways. And um, the informal part of the economy, which you have done research on, has also been impacted, I, I believe. Uh, could you tell us briefly what you found with regards to this through your research? The research we do, I look after the informal economy research program at NRI. And uh, through the research, most of us know that uh, 85% of our population live in the rural areas and they don't have paid um, employment. They live practically uh, of the informal economy. Denis Orere, National MTV News.